All right, uh, today I want to chat a little bit about how to take your fills and turn them to partial transparency. So let's go ahead and kind of get started with that. I'm going to continue to use the CTX as our context. If you have missed any of these things, not sure how to do uh, rectangles or fill colors, obviously you can see what I have there, or you can go back and watch some of those other videos that we have uh, as well to kind of walk you through that process. So uh, first thing I'll do then is go ahead and use this context of CTX dot, and I'm going to set the global alpha. And basically the way that this works is it can be anywhere from zero to one, zero being uh, completely transparent, so it won't be able to see it at all, and one being completely solid or opaque uh, like it is there. So CTX Global Alpha, let's go ahead and just set it to be uh, halfway in the middle here, so 0 0.5. And when I hit run, you can see that it has turned everything, uh, every shape, every object to that 0.5 transparency uh, all the way throughout. Okay, so anything that follows this, anything that follows that setting of the global alpha will have that same amount. So let's go ahead and do another one just to show you then that we can adjust it for each shape that we would like. So uh, I'll go uh, 0 0.75 and so that'll be a little bit more solid. So you can see there, so the red one is the one that's set at 0.5, the green is set at 0.75 and then the yellow because it follows also is 0.75. And let's go the other direction with this last one. And I will set it to be much smaller, much lower, so 0 0.25. So you can see there, there it is, what it looks like. So you can kind of see the three different levels. Now, if I wanted to make everything solid, so I only wanted one thing to be uh, transparent, all I would need to do is just set that global alpha back to opaque, back to solid, which would be one. So if I do that, you can see that that's uh, set back there. So, okay, I hope that helps. Uh, if you like it, please, please uh, hit that thumbs up um, or even hit subscribe to help us out. Appreciate it, thanks.